Welcome back to the show. Check in on the AFC West, which the Chiefs have won eight years in a row. Seems They're like a long time. Favorites to win yet again. But hold on, says Dusty's friend Daniel Jeremiah. <laughs> Don't forget about Harbaugh working some magic. Take a listen. Friend or idol? Andy Reid is, he is, Andy Reid might be on the Mount Rushmore of NFL coaches. Like he is, if oh, not, he's he is, he is mean, headed there. Right. He's in the conversation um, all time. So yeah. it looks insurmountable when you have Patrick Mahomes and Andy Reid there. That looks like this. It's been a it's been a run there. They have dominated this division. I'm not putting it past Jim Harbaugh. He's done it everywhere he's ever been. Okay, here are the odds. The Chiefs still in the driver's seat. Chargers have jumped up to two, and then uh, Hubs is Raiders. I mean, yeah, and then yikes, right, the Broncos division. way back there. Yeah, I, just, yeah. I'm okay. Sorry. Any chance the Chargers win the West? No, you know, if we didn't, we only did two shows this week, mm -hmm. but if we had done a full five days worth of shows and it was Friday, I would have said we could just replay this same segment we've done the last four years around July. Is this the Chargers year? No, the answer is always no. <laughs> no they it's that oh, there. okay, so three years ago. Yeah. When they got rid of Anthony Lynn to bring in young genius Brandon Staley, who Brew didn't hate yet, sure. that was going to be the moment. And then when they did show some improvement that season, and then they went out and signed Khalil Mack and J.C. Jackson because they were going for it. I did. Think. That was going to be their moment. And then when they finally broke through and made the playoffs, and yes, the playoff game was was a hard one to swallow, but people loved the Quentin Johnson pick. Oh, my God, Herbert's got three number ones. They got rid of J.C. Jackson. That worked. That was going to be their moment. And now, after five wins, it's like, no, no, no. Jim Harbaugh's here, even though they lost all those wide receivers, and they lost J.C. Jackson, well, a while wow. ago. They, he's been gone. And... They, they, you know, they restructured Mac and they were able to keep both. Now this is going to be the, no, it's not their moment. It's no one's moment. And Aunt Daniel Jeremiah it was sounding very, and I like Daniel as well, very smart in the beginning. Mm -hmm. And then when he was hemming and hawing <laughs> about whether or not, you know, Andy Reid is in the conversation for Mount Rushmore, that yeah. means you're like seventh or eighth all time. Give me a break. Um, he's in the conversation for top four. Like, come on. But, uh, but yeah. The team with maybe the greatest coach ever and maybe the greatest player ever, that team when they're both in their prime, even though Florio thinks they're both a day from retiring at any given moment, <laughs> that team's Florio going involved. to keep winning Straight. the division, bro. So, yeah, I, 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 no, there's no chance the Chargers win the division. Yeah, what was the question? Any chance. Any chance. No. Uh -oh. No? Next question. Uh -oh. Well, we don't have no. a question. <laughs> no, and here's, here's the thing that <sighs> – and I've talked about this in regards to winning the third straight Super Bowl, which we know they're motivated by. But last year, the Chiefs go 11-6. and six. Mm -hmm. Worst regular season record for Patrick Mahomes as a starter. Mm -hmm. Patrick Mahomes, we know individually, this guy wants to be the GOAT. Mm -hmm. Individually, his season last year, now obviously it wasn't all his fault, but he didn't have the type of individual season stat-wise that he wants to have. Mm -hmm. he, was, he had his worst passer rating ever. His lowest uh, yards per game average ever. His worst TD percentage, worst interception percentage, and worst yards per attempt ever. I think that's all going to motivate Patrick Mahomes. And I like, we all like some of the receivers, Hollywood Brown and then the rookie that they added. Like, I think, like, I don't think complacency is even on the table for these Chiefs, even though they're coming off two straight Super Bowls. And that is one another thing that's working against these Chargers. And like Nick mentioned, they lost so many guys. Austin Eckler, who was one of their leaders, like their best Man, running Bruce back. Bruce loves they, old they running backs. Yeah. Do you uh, add Eckler an old running right. back? Eckler was a leader. It's like me drafting a fantasy. I'm like, yeah. this guy started. Eckler yeah. was a leader. So, I, I, yeah, no. Can they, I they can be – they can well, – Make playoffs. Be second and fight for the playoffs. That's, oh, where, that. that's where they're at. That's Here, here's Chargers' schedule. Their win total, what was it at Hubs? Eight and a half? Uh, Chargers' schedule. I'm just saying they could start off, if you beat the Chiefs September 29th, I'm just saying if, if, it's a home game against the Chiefs. That's all I'm saying. I'm not, I'm so still what are you, a Chiefs what are you about to give us I'm a I'm just record? saying, look, you got the Raiders, dub. You got uh, Carolina, W. Pittsburgh, at what Pittsburgh? Is, they're going to be underdogs. That's not going to be easy. Okay. They're going to be underdogs. You, you believe in Pittsburgh's quarterback what? situation? I don't. Well, it might be just. Did you believe in it last year? 
When they won 10 I don't games? believe in Pittsburgh, period. Okay. They, I don't. But all they do they is get to win. 500. They, they get to 500. That's the same with the Chargers. Right. It likes the Chargers. I believe in the games. Chargers a little bit this year. Okay. I'm going to have a few chips on the Chargers roulette wheel. Pittsburgh, Kansas They can City get hot is what I'm losses. saying. you got to buy. You've got the Broncos. You've got the frisky Cardinals. The Saints, all of a sudden, it's week nine. You're like, hold Brown. on. We're actually okay. People the, are getting scared well, look, of us. Five Harbaugh's and two. Out. Five Harbaugh's and two is on the, the board. Five and two is on the board. That'd be okay. good, but right. they're not right. going to so win the, the division. This is, right. So this is. I'm not saying what I'm saying. That you can believe in them a little bit about a few chips there. Okay. So we, well, that's, well, a, that's, that's board, almost, yeah. a, that's a different question, I think, but that we can do, which is whether or not the Chargers are going to have the best year of the Herbert era, which would be like. T- ten wins, a wild card berth, and not a mortifying playoff loss. Like that would just—that's the bar for the best year of the Herbert era. Meanwhile, this is like these. This is the context for because I think some more interesting questions are: Are the Chiefs going to run down the Patriots' record of consecutive division titles? Because we can show you that. Which is we're at eight. Your guys' Patriots are at eleven. A couple asterisks attached. Naturally, no. There's um, but um, I dare but, the graphics but, department. But it is. It is 8 to 11. And then there is can the... I, can I pause here for yes, a second? Yeah, the see. one thing that we benefited from is we never had a Justin Herbert in the AFC East. The, yeah. I, I'm just saying that's just... I, I agree, but I also think that Justin Herbert right now is... He, you're right. He's better than any quarterback you guys had to deal it's with. It's a little Patriots diss. The, <laughs> no, it, he, that, it's definitively true. Like, mm-hmm. the Bills didn't have a quarterback for 20 years. Dolphins the did. Jets briefly had Chad Pennington for... Like, you know what I mean? That yeah, was... And, and it, it, correct. And the Dolphins briefly also had Chad Pennington. <laughs> and that was it. Like So, yes, I agree with you on that front. But the Chargers took their shot and whiffed and now are retooling. Like, that's the problem. They, they, The reason they had to move on from Keenan and Mike Williams was mm-hmm. because they spent that money on those things. Meanwhile, Mahomes versus this Chargers team, and then also we can show it, versus the AFC West as a whole. Mahomes versus the Chargers. It's kind of Mahomes versus everybody. Sure. Wins 80% of his games and is great. And then Mahomes against the AFC West. This is why no one can compete with the Chiefs. Because every year... You, no one's ever gone two and zero against them. You usually go zero and two against them, and you hope for one and one. In the last five years, the Chiefs have won the division by an average of four games. It's a sixteen now seventeen game season, yeah. and so and what does that mean as far as his history? Mahomes versus the AFC West is the best bet of any quarterback in league history. Better than Brady versus the AFC East. Better than Steve. Like, so it's just not, it's not. I'm with you, Wilds, in that I expect to see improvement, and I expect them to be right there in the playoff hunt. But to win the division over the Chiefs? No, I'm not saying saying that. I had my throne coffee this morning, so I'm still a Mahomes guy. The Patriots feasted on the incompetence of the franchises, and and Mahomes did something similar, and the Chargers trying to get right. Okay. They're great. They're great, but there's a little combo. Greatness and Real a little quick, bit of incompetence. We have to. Of this course. might be Dusty's last day on the show. Wow, Dusty! Congratulations. This is going, Where are you going? This is going to be the most painful <laughs> thing he's ever had to do. Dusty, this hurts. Bring out the board. This hurts. <laughs> With your guy's face plastered on. Right. Daniel right. Jeremiah. Post the show Dusty wishes he worked on. Sorry. (laughs) We even put his name. First guy ever to get his name on the board. Chargers win the division. And Daniel, if you're Daniel, if you're Daniel, if you're watching, um, Dusty did this whole artwork and everything. The whole reason you're on there is because of him. The board is getting heavy. The board's getting heavy already. It's it's early. early. The backside of it's still all the way covered from last year. All right. Coming up next, uh, JJ Reddick. Wore a hat indoors, we discussed. <laughs> Was it backwards? No. Colin's going to be so I don't mad. Know. The video <laughs> that we have is horrible.